This method can help answer key questions in pulmonary physiology, particularly about how the structure-function relationship in the lung contributes to disease pathology. The main advantage of this technique is that it allows measures to be made repeatedly within the same subject without expensive imaging equipment or technically advanced analysis algorithms. The implications of measuring the lung structure-function relationship extend toward understanding the development of lung diseases using classic, well-established physiological tools to evaluate novel interventions. Though this method provides insights into human lung physiology, it can also be applied to animal models of lung disease. Generally, individuals new to this method may struggle with the correct coaching of participants to follow the outline maneuvers. Several practice runs are often necessary with a first-time participant. Visual demonstration of this method is critical, as the capnographic maneuver can be difficult to learn, and the flow and volume of the maneuver must be controlled carefully. Procedures involving human subjects has been approved by the Institutional Review Board of the University of Iowa. Before beginning the calibration, use a standard barometer to measure the temperature, barometric pressure, and relative humidity, and enter these values into the plethysmograph software as correction factors. To calibrate the flow sensor, use a calibrated 3-liter syringe at variable flow rates, and use a 50-milliliter pump to calibrate the box pressure. Immediately prior to the plethysmography measurement, have the participant enter the whole body plethysmograph and close the door.